right so there are two very very important things again when you are talking about the approach to treatment of any cancer one is to make a proper clear definitive diagnosis because in the absence of that you can't move forward and this holds good whether it's blood cancer or a solid tumor cancer whatever it might be the staging of the cancer is very very important so depending on the cancer the methods that you will use to stage that cancer stage means where all in the body is it spread to is it only confined to where it started or is it there in all parts of the body so you may use just something as simple as an x-ray and an ultrasound or you may use something like a pet ct scan the whole thing will depend upon what that cancer is the third most important thing today is to do additional testing which will tell us about how this cancer is likely to behave as we go treating it because not all cancers are the same not all individuals are the same so the same cancer with the same characteristics might have different outcomes in different individuals even if the treatment given is the same which means that the character of this disease and the character of the individual who is being affected by this disease is not the same so as much as possible we also try to estimate this fact so a clear diagnosis what is the extent of the disease which means the stage what are the other things that you need to know to say this is aggressive this is less aggressive and so on and so forth i think these are the most important parts that form the approach to the cancer itself now depending on the stage depending on what this cancer is the cure rates might vary widely for example if you are talking about pediatric cancers cancers in children those are the cancers which have the maximum cure rate over the board let's take 100 children with today's therapy almost 60 to 70 children will be cured of all their cancers if you look at some blood cancers in children what we usually refer to as acute lymphoblastic leukemia what was uniformly fatal let's say 50 years ago is now cured 80% of the times in some pediatric acute lymphatic leukemias the cure rate is more than 95% which is higher than tuberculosis today right while in some it is not so why is it very high in some why is it not in some that's what you determine when you do those additional markers because some of these children who we think based on those markers will not do well with the usual treatments will need additional treatments some of them will need bone marrow transplantation so i think it's very important to get the hang of what you are actually seeing this is also very important from the patient standpoint i'm not talking about the treatment i'm talking about mobilizing resources let's say somebody has got a bad cancer but is likely to be cured by doing additional treatments like transplantation which might be expensive it is important to get yourself your patient and the family ready for that exercise because that's going to be a long drawn exercise which is mentally and physically taxing so all this is very important when you are talking to your patient during the initial phase <clears throat> trying to explain to them what this disease is and what does it involve to get treated how long what resources and so on and so forth so i think this is very very important to approach while on the contrary if you are looking at an 80 year old with stage 4 pancreatic cancer who is not very well you know who is coming into your office in a wheelchair the best thing to do for that patient is to comfort don't go about saying i want to treat you with aggressive chemotherapy because chemotherapy versus no chemotherapy the difference is two months in terms of survival but you have to live two months longer so let me treat you hammer and tongs mm-hmm. right it doesn't make any sense so i think a lot of these factors have to go into before you say yes this is what i want to do for this patient vis-a-vis another patient depending on resources cure what kind of cancer what's the outcome likely to be what sort of treatments are necessary